Let's make it a good day. have our favorite uh, radio stations, My Talk 1071, and TV stations, Fox 9. Uh, you, you know, hopefully you watch the Jason show on one of them. But when it comes to the men and women serving our country overseas, the American Forces Network is providing them news and entertainment around the world. And one of our former co-workers here at Fox is part of the operations in Northern Italy. Joining us live from, how do you pronounce it, Brandon? Vicenza. Thank you. Uh, Italy is Sergeant. Wow. Sergeant mm -hmm. Brandon Ricker, also known as, and I'm going to try to say this without laughing, DJ Rickety Cricket. I love it, Brandon. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's start there, buddy. How did you get the name Rickety Cricket? So I got to pick my own DJ name, which was fun. But the name came about way back in 2010. I was in Afghanistan, and my platoon leader was writing me up for an award. And the, the document he was using on the computer, I don't remember if it was Acrobat or whatever, it kept auto-correcting my last name, Rickert, to Rickety. And at the time, <laughs> Always Sunny in Philadelphia had just come out, so I earned the nickname Rickety Cricket. So I just went with it for my DJ name. Okay, now, obviously you know TV. It's only a five-minute segment. But draw a line for the, for the viewers, Brandon. Uh, okay, so you were an engineer here at, Fo uh, at Fox. You joined the military. Yep. How did you get from a, a, a sergeant to sergeant plus DJ duties? <laughs> well, uh, I got lucky. Uh, I went through the school for Mass Communications Foundations for the Army, and uh, I kind of knew the guy who did the assignments, and I said, hey, I really want to go to Europe. So he said, okay, you can go to Germany, Italy, or Hawaii, and uh, I picked Italy. And you've been there for how long, my friend? We got here in May, so just under a year. Oh, and take me through a day. Okay, so like I know, like my, my broadcast is about three hours long. So what's what's the what's what's a day? How do you divide your day w with the military? Are you yeah? Get, walk me through it. Sure. Uh, right now, our our radio station is under construction. We're renovating, so it's kind of a challenge. But I come over here to our office, which is kind of like a temporary building do a little bit of show prep at uh, about 5.30 in the morning. And then we go on the air from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. So four hours of music and then providing the community with news, uh, COVID related updates, um, command messaging, what activities you can do. And then what you're seeing here is we also produce TV segments that go on our Facebook page and also go to AFN television. It's a quick one little one minute news piece that can inform the community all across Europe on what's going on here in Italy. So. Uh, groundbreaking ceremonies, the Secretary of the Army visiting, so on and so forth. So it's not so it's all encompassing, Brandon. It's not one particular format. News, entertainment, talk, it's it's all in one network, right? Correct. And so for the Army, I'm considered a public affairs mass communication specialist. So I would do everything that pretty much everybody at your station does, just with one person. So wearing uh, <laughs> all of the hats, we're expected to to do coordinate with the civilian media shoot videos, edit videos, do photos, run a radio show, you name it, we do it. Come on, Brandon, you worked here. You know, uh, we all do 80, you know, you know, you know what it's like here, Brandon. <laughs> oh, I do, I do. <laughs> yeah, are you having fun, buddy? Oh, I love it. Um, there's ample time off to go see Italy. Um, just within an hour of our house, there's amazing things to do. So yeah, last week, just before Christmas, we did what's called a Via Ferrata or by iron where you clamp into the, those steel cables to climb kind of dangerous slopes. So uh, yeah, the USO, they're an organization that supports the Army. Great opportunities. That's the 4th of July. We had a great fireworks show on, on base. Is that uh, the fam, Brandon? Tell members. the folks that's your family, right? Yes, yep, that's my family. There's Harrison and Frankie, and then uh, in that last picture, Kennedy, our, our daughter, who's actually born here in Italy. So. How are you like, give me your favorite part of Italy that you've seen so far, Brent. You've been all over the place now. What do you love? I mean, Venice is cool, but I love the mountains. The Dolomites are absolutely otherworldly. It's like out of Star Wars, for real. How about food? You know, let's talk food. I mean, when people think of Italy, I know it's a cliche, but I mean, you got to you, you confirm this for us. Is there any better food in the world than in Italy? Pizza is on a whole nother level. You, you, I can't even explain it. Like they have 
pumpkin pizza. They have horse meat pizza, all sorts of different stuff, and it's absolutely amazing. How about Sand Lizard? I'm just joking. That's from the other segment. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, well, how many days are you on, Brandon? How many days is your show? Um, so typically Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday? Yeah. Is this, are you surprised? Because you were behind the scenes here. Are you, uh, are you, how long did it take you to get into the groove of being an on-air personality, my friend? Well, you know me, I'm kind of squirrely already. It didn't take me very long. <laughs> and I think just from being in the control room at Fox and from being involved in television and media, pretty much my entire life growing up, it kind of was like osmosis. It wasn't super hard for me to, to excel in school when I went to school. The school for mass communications for the Army is six months long, and I uh, breezed through it with no problem. Well, I was going to say, you know, Brandon, when I started seeing um, your, your post on social, because, you know, Brandon and I are real, real friends, uh, I, I saw the, the, the microphone and stuff. I thought, what a perfect mix of two things you love, my friend. I mean, seriously. Right? I mean, it's a, it, what a perfect marriage. It's a... It's a awesome job people that ask about it like if they want to get into the military it's it's incredible because not only are you doing this but then you get to experience all the other facets of the army you go um like maybe in a couple of weeks we'll go shoot guys jumping out of airplanes at aviano air base and then the next week we might be up in the mountains with them doing uh belaying and rescue techniques so well, you get to kind of take part of all the different parts of the army but not have to like be committed just to that one single thing i love it Thank you for sharing it with the audience, my friend. I appreciate it. Yeah, you are welcome. Thank you. Tell, tell your colleagues. God bless them all, and uh, thank you. Hope to see you soon. All right. Have a good day, and have a happy new year. You too, Brandon. Brandon Ricker, thank better you. known as DJ Rickety Cricket. You can listen to the American Forces Network online or by downloading their free app. A great service to our country. We're going to take a break. Uh, we have a trivia contest you don't want to miss a little bit later. Stay with us. Back in a moment. Oh, that was great. Love that guy.